check if a string is rotated by two place and you have to solve this question without using an extra space so if your interviewer haven't give uh, this statement okay and it is a simple question if interviewer not included this statement which i have removed okay and what is the statement is solve without using extra space so if this statement not here then you can just say with a traditional approach just converted this string to the anti clockwise and convert into the clockwise direction and store it to the temp variable and you have to compare with this one and this one if one is true then return a true if both is false then return a false right this is a basic approach and that uh, you will be solving with that order of n complexity and the you have to use a, a extra space complexity that's why the interviewer want to do something different so that's why they added this line without using extra space so let's see how we will solve that and i will make you explain each and every line of code okay so let's see i will make a one method here public static and that will be boolean and is rotated we'll check okay and i need to initialize or take two parameter string s2 okay and first let me cover the base cases for it okay so what is the base cases like s1 dot length uh, not equals to not equals to s2 dot length okay then just return and make it false because i do not want to make a uh, move forward because if length is not equal then might be this is not a good question or right question okay so uh now you have to do like clockwise clockwise okay and okay and this will be true boolean true and again one boolean variable that will be anti-clockwise anti-clockwise not like this okay i also take this true now there is some logic behind it like if i do not want to use an extra space then just this is a logic look very carefully okay how we are using that uh, in two loops but without using extra space complexity so for integer i equals to 0 i less than s1 okay dot length okay this is fine i plus plus you can use any string length doesn't matter okay now if my s1 dot character at i just look very carefully not equals to s2 dot character at i want to take a braces i plus 2 because i am checking is string is equal uh, by rotated by 2 right so that's why i just added 2 i will make you explain each and every thing okay just look this very carefully and after when we are just closing this video you will be getting each and everything i promise okay now modulo 2 modulo by n or we can say uh let me take a length here integer n equals to s1 dot length okay so i will say modulo by n i can directly say by uh, like this here s down but it will not look nice okay so if is like this then you can say one thing here your this i am doing this thing before a clockwise so let me write a comment that will help you for you so that for clockwise direction okay so you can say clockwise equals to false okay now uh, not like this false now let me do for a anti-clockwise direction okay for integer i equals to 0 and i again less than uh, you can directly say n okay or uh, i used s1 in first loop so i will use s1 dot length so it will not make a confusion or create a confusion for you again here look very carefully s1 dot character at and again that similar approach i plus 2 modulo n okay not equals to s2 dot character add i if this is so that will be a anti-clockwise and it, it will be false and let me do one thing now return clockwise and and operator or operator anti-clockwise so if one is true my answer will be true so let me call here s out and is rotated I want to say S1 and I want to say S and S1. 
okay let me run this and i will make you explain each and every line of code after it okay so so what will be the answer will be your answer will be true because one of these will be not entered into the anti clockwise or clockwise state so that's why we will be getting my answer true so the answer is true right so let me make you explain how this calculation happened so if you checking here at a first like for a clockwise like character at zero so let me uh, take down this thing here okay so i will make you explain each and everything this is your original string right and this is your rotated one so how i rotated it anti clockwise direction so you can check here you say 0 1 right and plus 2 from a you are checking again you will check it will not equals to and it will become false because s is here right and you are checking with n so it become false now come to the anti clockwise you are checking with second index just forget about the modulo n we will we are doing this because we are plus doing plus 2 so if uh, we will not do the modulo then out of index that kind of error will come okay that's why we do modulo to handle that error just you can just focus on this one okay so plus 2 so if interviewer asks you to do uh, like rotation check with 3 4 you can do the uh, manipulate the code accordingly you can say we are checking with the second index okay and it is equal so you can say here like we are checking with the second index h h is equal w w equal again it is equal and modulo come to the again into the again here right ash so ash i hope this is looking fine okay so if you learn something from this video just do subscribe and hit the like button i will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye